Hey Tubes, how are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing today in my room today, yes, I am using the old Kodak camera to film today because I have a special vlog for you. I want to do something with my camcorder. Can my big battery backup system can power my camcorder, should I say. Basically, I want to see if it has enough uh, charging capability to also charge the battery, and we're going to take the battery out and see if this can power this without the actual battery in it. Now, I do have an extra battery for my camcorder, by the way. But remember, these are not the extended batteries, these are just the uh, regular size batteries, uh, should I say, for the camcorder, basically. Okay, now you can get the extended battery for this camcorder, but they're very expensive. They're like, say, $130 just for the battery itself. But, let's go ahead and get the DC USB cable it came with this camcorder and see if we can power this bad boy with this big giant battery bank. Now it does have a lot of power, okay, it's 12 volts, 26 milliamps, and this also uses 5 volts. And don't worry tubes, I do have 5 volt uh, DC outputs as well for USB. And we're going to check the voltage on it as well. Let's go. Have some fun, shall we? Say, so Chris, what are you doing today with your big battery bank on your desk? We are going to be testing out this system with my camcorder, but the one thing is I want to test the voltage output to make sure it is 5 volts on these USB output uh, units right here, basically, okay? You can kind of see right here. I got two of them. It doesn't matter which one I can use. Doesn't matter if I use this one on the outside or the one on the inside, basically. Now, we do have the multimeter. We do have my brand new camcorder right on top. And we also do have a USB cable to check the output voltage of these. Basically, here is the Panasonic charger and Panasonic battery. And also here is my camcorder as well. But basically this is going to power this. I hope I haven't tested it yet. But basically here is the DC cable. Okay, see, it's just your standard USB but with a bill connector. And also here is the AC to USB adapter for it. Alright, let's turn the system on, see what the voltage is, as uh, 13.0 volts, not too bad. Well, let's go ahead and get this USB cable plugged in and check the output voltage. Okay, the ground is on the outside and the center pin is the positive side. And basically, we are pretty stable with the voltage. Uh, 5.22 volts, should I say. And that's pretty dang stable. But let's go ahead and test my camera on it now, should I say. We already have everything ready to go. Camcorder, uh, the actual included cable came with this. You can see this does work off of its own battery. Okay, see that tapes? I don't know if you can. Let me bring the screen up for you can kind of see it. Okay, it's working off its own battery. The one thing is I want to test the charging function of the system as well by using the included USB cable. It does not matter which one I use to both stable at the exact same voltage. Okay, over here is the 5 volt DC side. Slide that open. 
plug it in. And see, the light is charging. That means I am charging the battery on this camcorder. Freaking awesome. Alright, now the one thing is, let's see if we get power externally. Hmm, nice. That is awesome. Now let's go ahead and power this guy off. Let's go ahead and power that down. Let's take out the external battery. And let's go and power my big battery bank up. And let's see if it can power this without the battery on it. This is basically just a big giant external battery, should I say. Look at that, tubes. We can power my king cordial with this external battery bank. It's looking amazing, should I say. I really do like that. And I like the idea I can actually charge the camera, use the camcorder with its own battery and everything else. That's freaking awesome. Now, of course, it may not charge these types of batteries on this charger without an inverter, but you can actually use this battery bank to charge your camcorder. How is that? Freaking amazing. Should I say? Alrighty then. I am so amazed and my mind is blown, should I say, of how this battery backup system can power different things. Like a desktop computer, a TV, even an old school stereo system. That's freaking awesome. With this external battery bank, should I say. But the one thing is, I am very happy it can also charge and power my Panasonic camcorder with its own battery. And it can also power it without the battery being in there. But you're going to say, Chris, why don't you go out and buy the extended battery for the camcorder? Well, let me just explain. My local Best Buy does not have any Panasonic equipment. You want to carry certain brands in stores. But you're going to say, Chris, you do have an extra battery for it. Yeah, I do. I have two of these small uh, batteries, but I do not have the extended battery. But you're going to say, Chris, why do you need this big battery box to power a small camera like this? Okay, say if you go camping or something and you want to have a battery uh, juice, should I say, on your camcorder. Well, it's one way you can power it. Big old battery bank of power right here. I am so happy with this system I made. It's freaking amazing. Alright, if you guys and girls are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. And have fun with your battery banks. Freaking amazing, should I say.